Hey there, Eli again coming at you from OSA in Coventry here to go over all of the new uh, saltwater livestock we just got in yesterday and this past week. Uh, we do apologize, we've been trying for quite some time to get a good saltwater order in, but with the holidays and all of the shipping and flight delays the past couple weeks, it's been difficult for us to get an order in. However, we finally filled these tanks back up. So let's take a look at what we got for new saltwater fish and inverts. In these 40 gallons over here, I still have this nice Falcula butterfly. I've got a decent sized snowflake moray eel, scissor tail chromis, three small mono argentus, and a couple goldhead sleeper gobies, as well as this beautiful little clown trigger fish that's been here for almost a month now. A uh, perfect little guy. He's doing very well here if somebody's been looking for one. Down here has a lot of the really cool fish in it. Some of the high-end stuff. There's a beautiful Aussie Harlequin Tusk. There's also a nice big purple tang, which is something that we do not get in very often here. Also a very nice dog face puffer that's on the large side, probably about five inches or so right now. In addition, there is one pretty large snowflake moray in here, about full grown. Just a warning, this guy is a proven fish eater, but he is quite a nice eel at that. This tank over here still has a couple fish that we've had for a little while, including a Valentini puffer, tribal blenny. In addition, this tank now has a panther grouper, a nice small little guy, but he is going to get quite large. Definitely not a fish for everybody, but a beautiful little fish at that. There's a nice bicolor angelfish in here, a dragon goby, which is kind of a nice sand sifter, a little more well-behaved than say your diamond goby might be. There's also a nice orange spotted rabbit fish, a diamond goby, and an algae bunny in this tank right now. This bottom tank's got a bicolor rabbit fish that's been here for quite a while, a little yellow watchman goby, a white sleeper goby, which is kind of similar to your uh, diamond goby as well, and a very small to mini tang. Uh, been a little while since we had these guys in stock. Beautiful little fish and the perfect size to start for a smaller aquarium. This next tank has a coral beauty angelfish that's been here for a little while now, a dusky wrasse that's been here over a month, a beautiful skunk clownfish. It's also got probably the biggest green bird wrasse I've seen come through the doors here. A really nice marine beta, a small long-nosed hawkfish. It's got a diamond and algae bunny as well, a male blue jaw triggerfish, and a small one-spot fox face. Down bottom here, we've got a blue spot watchman goby, lemon peel angelfish, and a flame hawkfish. Looks like there might be a diamond goby there as well. This next tank up here has got one of the most personable little dog face we've had in for a while. Uh, he's been here at least a month now too and he's doing absolutely great as well as that multi-bar angelfish this is a centripede dwarf angel uh something that you don't see very often at all price tag is a little bit cheaper than say a peppermint angel while still giving you that similar appearance definitely a cool fish for the elector hobbyist tanks also got a small one spot fox face white sleeper goby cleaner rash aptasia eating file fish and a small fuzzy dwarf lionfish that's being shy at the moment. Down bottom here, I've got scooter blennies, a candy cane squirrel fish that came from a well-established tank uh, that has been held in captivity for quite some years. Tank's also got a small vomingi tang, a small fox face, diamond goby, algae bunny, and an orchid dying back. Next tank here has another one of those male blue jaw trigger fish. Unfortunately, we don't have any pairs right now. We just have the two solo males. There's also a file fish in this tank, a beautiful little yellow mimic tang, perfect little size and very bright. Another one of those cleaner grasses, orchid dotty back, long nose hawk, and I believe a pair of gold head sleeper gobies. Down bottom, we've got our usual red firefish, another one of those small to mini tangs. There are a handful of small green chromis, a couple male ruby red dragon nets, dragon goby, and an algae bunny, as well as a bicolor angelfish. Next tank up top has a trio of lyre tail antheus that we've had here over a month as well. These guys have been doing quite well if that's something you were looking to grab. They are a little bit on the pricey side, however, they've been doing really well for us. We've also got a sailfin tang in here, a beautiful juvenile emperor angelfish with some decent size to them. Real pretty vomingi tang, a goldhead sleeper goby, flame hawkfish, 
and a larger fuzzy dwarf lionfish than in that previous tank. Down bottom, we've got about four or five small hippo tanks. Perfect size to start. There's also some purple firefish, a lemon peel angel, another algae blenny, and a diamond goby. This tank up top here does not have any fish from this latest shipment, so all of these fish have been in here for at least a month now. There's a beautiful miniatus grouper, a lionfish, a cherry grouper, also a falcula butterfly, and a large scopus tang in this tank as well. And down bottom here, I've still got a small handful of pajama cardinals, a Randall's assessor, which is kind of a cool basslet that you don't come across often, and he's also been here for better part of a month. Uh, there's also a gray pomacanthus angelfish, a white-tailed bristletooth, there's an algae bunny, cleaner wrasse, diamond goby, and another small fox face in this tank as well. If any of this stuff is catching you guys' eye, feel free to check us out this weekend. Everything is priced out and ready to go. Let's go take a look at the invert system to see what we have new to offer over there. Finally got some peppermint shrimp, and last time we got these in, maybe we got about 10 or 12 of them. This time we managed to, to find 60. So this tank is nice and full if you guys have been looking for those at all. In addition, there's still some bumblebee snails in there, purple reef lobster, sand sifting conch, a couple pistol shrimp, and a mandarin goby as well. There are also some emerald crabs spread throughout these tanks as well. Up top, we've got one red knobby starfish and a handful of orange linkia stars, which tend to be reef safe, kind of a neat addition to a well-established tank. In addition, there are some decent sized turbo snails, a good number of them. And there's a beautiful peacock mantis shrimp in that tank as well. Next tank still has my little buddy, the scorpion fish down here. In addition, a handful of purple pincushion urchins some of those large turbo snails as well and some red hairy legged hermit crabs which are a beautiful little crab but definitely something to be kept in a fish only tank as they tend to go for corals in a reef tank down bottom i've got a handful of feather duster worms still have a japanese pistol shrimp in addition there's a strawberry crab or two big sea cucumber maybe a couple sand sifting starfish handful of emerald crabs couple of cleaner shrimp we just got in some citron gobies as well a handful of nesarius snails and this happens to have a yellow watchman and tiger pistol shrimp pair in it next tank up here has a pair of tomato clowns these are the clowns that were in that water box 50.3 we had set up on display here for a while there may still be one or two fire shrimp in this tank in addition, we got two red rooster wasp fish yesterday, which are really interesting, rarer fish that you don't see so often, venomous creatures, so something not to play with per se. Really interesting fish for a reef or fish only tank. They are reef safe with caution as they might go for smaller fish or small invertebrates, but a really interesting fish nonetheless. There's also a good handful of turbo snails up in this tank as well. Finally, down bottom, we've got a good number of trochus snails again. There are a handful of scarlet leg reef hermit crabs. I believe there's a pair, if not just a single harlequin shrimp in this tank, a mandarin goby, and another pistol shrimp pair, as well as an arrow crab or two. In addition, we did uh, just restock on corals this past week. We got a big Hannah order in, so a lot of the Hannah checkers and reagents also came in. Uh, we did also get some freshwater fish and plants in the last week, so we didn't forget about the freshies. Uh, the store should be nice and full, so come check us out this weekend or this coming week uh, for whatever you guys might be looking for. Thanks for watching.